how I got started in making films was as a teenager, I got my first video camera and I was really into surfing. So I used to go and video my, my friends surfing and I'd make little videos uh, from that. And then a little bit later on, I got my first uh, GoPro video camera and started uh, videoing some of the trail running and hiking adventures that I went on and would uh, put together little clips for my friends. And then quite a few years ago, I went to my first mountain film festival and, and just absolutely blew me away seeing uh, like a real mountain adventure film. So I went to the New Zealand Mountain uh, Film School and uh, and also did a number of uh, film storytelling courses and, and worked with a couple of filmmakers uh, to learn how to make an adventure documentary. Tararoa SK is a story about the heart and spirit of a, of a really incredible community and its relationship with its very special uh, wilderness place. For the film, I interviewed nine really important you know, characters who span the, the 60 year history of the, of the challenge to tell the story about the the route, the physical challenge of the food that adventurers use on some of the really cool stories that have happened over the years and the notorious weather where less than 50 days a year the route is safe to travel. But my favorite uh, filmmakers, look every time I go to a, a mountain film festival I get new favorites. I love watching mountain adventure documentaries with a great story where you're you, you're excited and, expi and and inspired to go on your next adventure look my ideal project is an adventure documentary about a long a mountain traverse with a really interesting group of people and history around the around the route look the steps that i take to keep a uh, production on schedule is making sure that you do real really thorough planning at the start of the project and just making sure that you allow you know the time required to produce the quality that you're that you're aiming for and you know then you know just having those deadlines and you know working really hard to to hit those the hardest part of making Tararua escape was selecting the the interview sound bites to use and then to weave those together into an interesting and engaging story. And, you know, selecting those sound bites is you know, it's a, a pretty challenging exercise. And you've got nine different interviews. I think we had you know, 10 hours worth of interview time to go through. Uh, and then, you know, what I had to do was then write a a narrative to connect those uh, together and a super challenging part of that was it really I really needed to include some of my personal story around the around the route and the challenge and that was that was really hard and it was great to have my coach Hans working with me to help get feedback and make changes and make improvements on the way through so that was awesome but my future plans look since making the film i've made a few uh, trip videos including a uh, a video about a really great adventure that i went on uh, trekking to everest base camp with a group of 12 really uh, interesting people and look i'll continue to make adventure trip videos and if I find another opportunity, whether there's an incredible community uh, and there's an adventure around that, then um, then I might make another adventure documentary.